Game theory is widely applied in practice. It helps us analyze and understand a number of situations that happen in business. Let's examine the following real-life example. In 1971, the American government banned cigarette companies from advertising their products on TV. One would think this would hurt their business, as less consumers would see their brand advertising, and this would have a negative impact on sales. However, what happened is surprising. All four major tobacco companies registered higher profits than before. But how come? First, we need to point out that people who smoke tobacco will continue to do so, even if they don't see many advertisements on TV. However, advertisements are not useless, as they shape clients' brand perceptions and influence their preference for one brand over another. It turns out that tobacco companies would be better off without advertising, but only if all companies don't do it. Otherwise, the companies that invest in advertising will grow their brand recognition and will expand their market share, which would allow them to earn more. Let's use game theory to describe the situation. We'll imagine there are only two companies operating in the tobacco market. The outcomes they may choose are the following. Win 50 million each without spending money on advertising. If company A advertises and company B doesn't, then company A will win $60 million and company B will win $25 million. In the opposite scenario, if company B advertises and company A doesn't, the outcome reverses. And finally, if both companies advertise, each wins $40 million. This is a great illustration of what happened in reality before the government's ban on TV ads. The dilemma faced by the two tobacco companies was very similar to the prisoner's dilemma we saw earlier. Both players are better off if they cooperate, however, they cannot be certain the other party will adhere, so they opt for a solution that guarantees them the best possible outcome in all states of the world. Nash's equilibrium indicates companies will choose to advertise, and that's precisely what happened in practice. Each player maximized their own utility, which ultimately resulted in the situation we observed in real life.